me sweet race. They call me sweet race. Sippy sweet race. Sippy sweet race. Hop in the range. Hop in the range. Take off in the space. Take off in the space. Hey guys, it's CB Gray coming to you guys live with another Destiny video. How are you guys doing today? So today's video, we're going to be bringing you a quick little guide on how to finish the void configuration. This was a very, very tiring quest, and I want to get it right into helping you. There's a lot of complicated things that may seem a lot more complicated than they really are. And I'm going to try to make it very, very simple and try not to overcomplicate things because you could easily overcomplicate this guide. So I'm going to try to keep it as simple as possible. So if this does end up helping, definitely hit that like button. And if you're new, go ahead and subscribe. Also, I apologize real quick if I sound kind of sleepy, it's because I'm sleepy. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is load into the Zero Hour Outbreak Perfected Heroic version of the mission. And when you're in there, the first thing that I can recommend real quick is that you may want to do the cheese for this. This is going to be very, very difficult to accomplish without the cheese. And I've been seeing even the best of teams using the cheese right now. So don't even feel bad if you need to do this. I'll make an individual video and eventually link it on how to do this. But in a nutshell, basically what you do is you just have one of your fire team members that's not your lead. Um, go back and forth now if you're on PS4 between the options and the touchpad and it's pretty similar on um, Xbox and you can even accomplish this on PC so I'll be explaining later on how to actually accomplish this cheese but just know that it does make it a little bit easier but once you load in whether it's with two people or whether it's in three people you're gonna want to head over here and you're gonna want to grab this item after you clear out the first wave of ads and this is gonna start off your void configuration so this is gonna be the first step after that you're going to need to grab three key cards a red blue and a green one so i'm going to be showing you guys these locations real quick i'm not going to talk your guys ear off so let me show you where these are real quick and we'll come back after you get them So after getting your key cards, I'm sure you notice that you're still at 0 out of 49 of your SIVA particulate and you're probably wondering what you're going to need to do to get that and I'm going to explain that real quick. So keep traversing through the mission normally and once you get into the Cryptarch's vault, this is where things are going to get different. So if you have this uh, void configuration, you follow my steps up to this point, you're going to activate it by going here like you see me doing and this is where things get fun. So basically I'm going to be explaining this very, very slow and I'm going to keep it very very simple i'm not going to overcomplicate this so the first main thing to realize is that there's going to be seven rooms with crystals inside of them that's the first thing to notice every single one of those rooms has crystals and they're of a different color there's a set that's green there's a set that's white there's a set that's yellow there's one that's red a purple one a blue one and then a, a tealish you could call it scion whatever color you want to call it there's seven colors now within those seven rooms there's going to be seven crystals within the room as well so that means a total of 49 crystals now you can kind of see where the zero out of 49 comes from so that's the first thing to note the next thing to note is that there's going to be three consoles next to those rooms so i'm going to show you where the first one is and i'm going to have this diagram on the screen so it's going to be very very easy to see 
know this is from Raid Secrets and I'll have this linked in the description so you can check this out yourselves because the excuse me, the Excel spreadsheet is amazingly helpful and I just think it's gonna help you out and everybody in the community deserves a pat on the back that's contributed. So just wanted to say that credit where credit's due, but the first console is gonna be in between the green and the white crystal rooms. The third one is gonna be in between the yellow and the red. The only reason that I skipped is because those two are on the same side, so it's important to note that one and three are on the, the one side with the green, and then two's on the side with the two blue colors and the purple. So that's where these consoles are located. So now I'm gonna talk about the importance of the consoles before we talk about the importance of the crystals. So let's get right into it. So each one of the consoles is gonna have two circles um, as part of the console and it's gonna tell you exactly the call out that you're gonna need to give now I can make it super complicated and I'm gonna give a rundown of exactly what happens But then I'm gonna tell you how to simplify it So that what you're gonna do is have one person go to the first console and they're gonna look at both of the circles And now I'm gonna label it right here and show you an image and this is how you're gonna make your call out so there's 12 sections on each circle and I'm gonna show you the numbers and all that you're gonna do is look at the first number on the left the second number on the right because we read left to right unless you're reading like manga but we're not doing that so you're gonna read left to right and so you're gonna make the call out based on that number so that's gonna be your first call out so now you're gonna do the exact same thing on the second console and you're gonna do the exact same thing on the third console so now once you have your three sets of numbers you go to the Excel spreadsheet that I linked you with and I'm gonna show you what it looks like and then you go look for that exact sequence of those three numbers and then that's gonna tell you exactly what crystal you're gonna be holding square onto to unlock. Now let's go back to the crystals now in each one of the rooms. So like I said, there's seven crystals in each one of the rooms for a total of 49 crystals. So let's go into one of the rooms real quick. This is how the crystals are gonna be numbered so that you can know exactly which one you're going to. So, what we're gonna see is that on the left side, if you look go straight into the room, they're gonna go in order from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, but you may be looking at the diagram and not understand how it goes. So it goes from top to bottom, right to left. So now it's funny that I brought up manga because now it applies. So I'm gonna explain it real quick. So top right is one, and you're, showing, you're looking at the diagram so you can follow along, but top right is one, bottom right is two, Top right is three, bottom right is four. Top left is five, and then that higher left is six, and then bottom left is seven. So look at the way that works. So top one, bottom two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's not that hard. So this diagram is gonna be crucial each time that you're going into one of the crystal rooms, seeing exactly what crystal you're gonna need to hold square on. So now back to the console. So now you've made three callouts. Let's say that it corresponded to green one. What that's gonna mean is that you're gonna go to the green room and you're gonna go to the back right crystal, which is green one. You're gonna hold square and now you're gonna be one out of 49 done. So then after that, you're gonna move on to the next one. You're gonna go back to the consoles again and you're gonna make a, another set of three callouts. Now, that's one way you can do it. But the easier way to do it is just have a person read console one and then on almost all of them, besides a few where there's some doubles, you'll be able to know exactly what crystal to choose just based off the first one. So I can kind of show you based on the diagram and explain that. So if we were to look at the diagram and we look at the spreadsheet, let's say that it was, excuse me, sorry, my voice is kind of giving out on me a little bit, but let's say it was three, three. If we take a look and see that three, three, it's the only one so we already know if you called out 3-3 three, three on console one, it's automatically gonna be green seven. And that's how it's gonna work. So you don't actually always have to call out all three consoles. Really, you only ever need to call out two and that's just in case there's a double on the first one. So you may wanna have one of your teammates with this Excel, excuse me, this Excel doc open. And that's really gonna be the easiest way to do it. So you'll go to the console, you'll look at the two circles, you'll make a call out, 
if the console one is a unique um, code that you call out, then you'll know exactly what crystal to call out, and then that's the one you're gonna hold square on. If there's a double, let's say that we're looking at 1-1, and we see that there's two rows of 1-1, we'll have somebody call out the second console. So you have somebody go to the second console, and then let's say they set 212, now you'll know that it's white one, which would be in the white room and would be um, back right, as you can see from the diagram. So you're gonna do this 49 times. I know it sounds crazy, but with the cheese, you'll have unlimited time. If not, I believe that you do get a little bit of time back each time you do one of the consoles. Either way, if you do it without the cheese, it's gonna be kinda hard at this point in time, but I do think it could get easier later but this is gonna be how you get it done. And so once you get it done, if you're wondering what you get for all of this hard work and effort, you're gonna get a ship schematic that um, is going to take three weeks of this to complete, first off, very similar to Whisper, and then you're also gonna get 33% of your catalyst done. So ultimately, it's gonna take three weeks to get your ship and uh, the catalyst done. So that's really all I have for you guys I know that you probably are gonna have questions I'm gonna be in the comment box below answering your guys's questions but I tried to keep this as simple as possible I don't want to overcomplicate this and blow up your guys's brains but um, I feel like this is the best way to um, explain how each one of the rooms is gonna work so if you have any questions let me know I'm an open book hope you guys enjoyed this if you did hit that like button and subscribe do you like what Bungie's doing? I think this was really, really cool. And I'm thinking there has to be some short, excuse me, some type of shortcut to make this a little easier. Either way, that's what I got for you guys. Hope you enjoyed. And with that, I'm gonna talk to you guys in the next Destiny video. Thanks, love you guys. is equipped, they shot to the lip. Take out the coin, then I flip. Pull out the thorn, then it's real. Dragon tattooed on my hip. Invading like my name is Zim. Dunking these most like a rim. Yes, I am harder than Shen. Making you pay for your sins. The drift of the nine. Yeah, I'm rolling with them. I'm not I feel incredible. No, I'm not regular. Stand on a pedestal, chug his vibe When he's off of his medicine for my squad I go hard like an animal, buy guns Got your head on the red, I put no trust He need to go level a man down But no, I'm not giving up I think that I said enough